Yo, what's up guys? It's Cynical and today for you guys, I'm bringing you something a little bit different. Today, I'm bringing you guys a commentary on something that I find just so fucking hilarious, man. So today I'm going to be talking about a news article that I came across. Um, and like I mentioned, dude, this is... The <laughs> like, I, I, I didn't know whether to take this serious or not, but it is completely and 100% serious. This is an article that was written on um, my actual, like, national news website. Our national news for New Zealand is known as the NZ Herald. Uh, that's basically where most people in my country go to to catch up with pretty much everything to do uh, with news and whatnot. So this article is titled Teen Lingo, What They're Really Saying. Uh, I'll read you the first little sentence. <laughs> Parents beware, if your teen is heading off for Netflix and chill, they're intending to do much more than just relax while watching the television. Yeah, no, no shit, literally. We are, we are in a news drought that people are literally writing about what Netflix and chill is. Because, I mean, guys, let's, let's be real, the parents, the parents, they gotta be up to date. They gotta be up to date on the teen lingo to know what's going on in the community. So apparently they're explaining that uh, this phrase or whatever exploded in popularity last year and people were basically using it to meet up for sex without older people aka parents knowing what the actual phrase means. Which is true, I mean this phrase boomed in 2015, I think that's when it was brought into existence. Now honestly speaking, I don't know of a single human being that actually literally uses Netflix and chill for the intended purpose. Like, I mean, me and my friends, like, in our social lives, we say Netflix and chill, but we, we take it in a satire way. We don't literally say Netflix and chill. And, I mean, if you are literally using Netflix and chill for its intended purpose in terms of actually using the word to say, hey, do you want a Netflix and chill? What are you doing? <laughs> anyway, I don't know, people have their own ways about going about things, so hey, that's fine. So, down the bottom of this article, uh, they've got something very interesting, and they go over a bunch of different sort of slang words um, that mean certain things so that parents can be aware of what their teenagers are saying. And this is what it states, how to translate cool kids speak. <laughs> What the fuck? Alright, so the first one we have here is Netflix and chill. Hook up or have sex as Netflix runs in the background. Who thought this was a good idea writing this article, man? Yo, dude, like, imagine all of the teenagers in my country that are literally getting grounded for, like, 86 years just due to the fact that this article is now explained to their parents what their kids have actually been talking about for the past eight months and what they've been doing every single Saturday. Hulu and Hump. Watch movies and have sex. Example. Keen to Hulu and Hump? <laughs> what the fuck? Literally, I've I've never heard of that one. That's that's completely new to me. Next one is on fleek. Being perfect. Her outfit was on fleek. Like, why do parents need to know that? Like, why why is why that's not even it. Why did someone write an article on this shit, dude? Turn up slash turned. Attending a party or going crazy at one. I'm keen to get turned up tonight. <laughs> <laughs> like, once again, why would parents need to know this? It's not like fucking David's gonna be like, Yo, dude, this this family barbecue is turned. And then, you know, his mom's gonna be like, I know what you're talking about, David. You need to settle the fuck down, man. You're getting way too rowdy. That is one too many apple juices for you, young man. Catfish. Meeting someone online, then meeting in person, and discovering they aren't who they say they are. They are the catfish. I mean, yeah, that, that one's kind of been around for a while now. Bay. A close friend friend or partner stands for before anyone else. Hey bae, how are you doing? GOAT, an acronym for greatest of all time. Once again, yeah, this is one that I've never heard about. Uh, I literally have never ever seen anyone in real life saying GOAT in terms of greatest of all time or even on the internet. So to me, that's, that's something that looks like it's just made up. Like, can someone tell me if someone actually uses GOAT for that intended, like, like, freaking slang right there. That's that's absolutely stupid. Hey, bro, how was that concert last night, bro? Oh, bro, it was so goat, bro. Yeah, bro, it was, it was goat. It was off the goat, bro. It was, fuck, it was so goat, bro. Dude, what are you even saying? Ghosting, the act of seizing communication suddenly. I loved him, but he ghosted me. <laughs> Well, if he's ghosting your ass, then he ain't worth your time, girlfriend. I suppose that's the straight just like chat and then ditch and then never come back again type thing. Once again, though, I've never heard of ghosting as an actual thing. It's more so when you get that scene on the Facebook chat. Yeah, that, that shit hurts. 
That that shit really hurts. Why did Facebook ever invent the whole scene thing, man? And the last one is ship, short for a romantic relationship. I see a ship developing between Hermione Granger and Ron Weasley. <laughs> what the fuck? Why did they have to use fucking Hermione and Ron? Only in New Zealand, bro. But yeah, of course, I already know what ship means. Ship, everyone knows it in terms of like the anime community and um, things like that. And video game community, it's it's a big thing. Anyway, guys, I thought I'd just make this commentary. I, j I just find it absolutely hilarious. This is actually a serious article that uh, for some reason someone in my country thought um, was actually worth the time writing just so that they can inform parents about teenage slang um, so that they actually know what uh, you know their teenage kids are actually talking about so basically every parent in my country is now going to understand basically all of this alien teenage language that uh, many of us use like goat fucking goat. Anyway guys, I'll leave the link to this article in the description below if you guys want to read up on it for yourselves. Literally though, like, I d who thought this was a, a good article? Like, do they literally have nothing else to write about? I mean, that's, that's what has me confused. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed today's video. I know it's a little bit different, but bringing commentaries about different things is always refreshing, so here we go. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed today's video, and until next time, I'll catch you guys later. Peace.